My friends, if you're following the world economic situation, you see something that's a little bit bleak. We have the ongoing situation in Greece with the European Union uh, and Greece trying to make good out of what is a very difficult situation and uh, a gap of leadership in Greece at the present time in the midst of a very critical moment in terms of solving the great Greek economic problem. We have the world's second largest economy, China, in not only a sputter but a bit of a spiral. The government is trying to infuse money into the private sector. That's not working, which is causing uh, ill effects on the overall global economy, including uh, the U.S. stock market. What's fascinating about this, my friends, is this was predicted 60 years ago. I invite you to look into the messages, the church-approved messages of the Lady of All Nations. In the early 1950s, Our Lady was saying things which are happening today. For example, Our Lady warned against, quote, currency wars. Now, currency war wasn't even a concept in the economics of the 1950s. People thought, well, what, what does she mean by currency wars? Well, now we're seeing currency, war as, currency wars as places like China purposely devalues its, its currency, its yen, for an international advantage. Uh, she also, Our Lady now, uh, gave predictions back in the early 1950s about a worldwide economic crisis. She spoke about boycott between the United States and Europe which happens in a time of, uh, in a form of a type of financial uh, nationalism when things are not going well with one's country and they hesitate to buy imports. These things were predicted. Now, what's also fascinating is that Our Lady predicted, predicted another series of geopolitical events, everything from the rise of communist China to the Korean War to war in the Balkans to difficulties around Jerusalem to even a vision and a reference to a disturbance in Cairo, which would have international implications, which is, of course, the so-called Arab Spring of some few springs ago. Why so many concrete, specific prophecies to get us to believe in the credibility of these words based on economic, geopolitical, social reasons and then to accept and understand and act upon her spiritual action step. And what's the spiritual action step of the Lady of All Nations? That the Pope would proclaim a dogma, a dogma regarding Mary as the co-redemptrix, mediatrix, and advocate, as the world's spiritual mother in the order of suffering, in the order of spiritually nourishing, in the order of intercession. In the message of the Lady of All Nations, once again, approved as being of a supernatural origin, May 31st, 2002, Our Lady says that only with the dogma will there be peace in the world, in her May 31st, 1954 message. My friends, I strongly recommend for you, with all the things of investigation and, and education in terms of uh, technology and health and otherwise, I ask you to spend a few minutes to educate yourself in the Lady of All Nations. And as a starting point, you can either go to the message of the Lady of All Nations, go to uh, ladyofallnations.com, or a site called peacethroughawoman.com. For those who prefer a DVD summary, there is a wonderful 30-minute documentary, which is narrated by none other than Martin Sheen, which explains the messages of the Lady of All Nations, including what's happening right now, the economic global situation, uh, other geopolitical events that have taken place that she predicted, uh, as well as the connection between the dogma and world peace. Go to peacethroughawoman.com and you'll see on the home page the video, the documentary, Peace Through a Woman, narrated by Fulton Sheen. The 30-minute investment, it will give you a fascinating new appreciation of what's happening today. And more important than that, the remedy that Our Lady is the remedy, that peace through the world has to come through her, and that will only happen after she is proclaimed as the world's spiritual mother. I also invite you to pray the prayer of the Lady of All Nations. You can get that online. You can call us uh, internationally. This is an American number. But you can call us at 740-937-2277. 
740-937-2277 or email us at mary at motherofallpeoples.com. We'll send you the prayer cards free of charge. This is only to seek to assist you in doing that which Our Lady has asked. The last thing Our Lady asked at the message of the uh, approved message of Amsterdam, the message of the Lady of All Nations, is to petition the Holy Father. This is a Catholic precedence. Uh, this is something that happened for the dogmas of the Immaculate Conception and the Assumption. So petition Pope Francis, send him a brief letter. Pope Francis, Vatican City is the address. Three postage stamps from the United States, uh, from other countries. You have to check your postal service. But all you need on the front cover is of the envelope, Pope Francis, Vatican City. It'll get to him. Uh, it'll get to his office at any rate. Let him know that you support his proclam proclaiming the fifth Marian dogma. You support him fulfilling what Our Lady has asked with the proclamation that Mary is the world's spiritual mother, the co-redemptrix, mediatrix, and advocate, or that you're praying for his discernment. However, the Spirit leads you to address the Holy Father. But those are the two action steps that the Lady of All Nations calls each one of us to do. Pray daily that prayer of the Lady of All Nations. Number two, petition the Pope, of course now Pope Francis, for the fifth Marian dogma. And again, go to that documentary, Peace Through a Woman. It's on the net on many different places. You can go to peacethroughawoman.com. It's a great synthesis of what's happening now, what Our Lady predicted would happen, which is coming through almost point by point as she predicted it, and this critical remedy of praying for and petitioning for the proclamation of Mary as the mother of all peoples, co-redemptrix, mediatrix, and advocate. Pretty simple formula. No dogma, no peace. That's what comes forward in Our Lady's messages. That's what we want to work on in doing our part to bring, uh, to bring forth the peace of the world that we desperately desire and Our Lady desperately desires to give to us. Thanks. God bless you.